leave an impression and I hope that girls younger than us look up to us and say, yeah, I want to play for the state championship team. I want to be like them and I want to grow up and push myself in basketball and be the best that I can be. I've known how good Haley was the entire time and you know, it's not just Haley that people talked about, it's that whole class that came up. That's just, it's just an excellent class and then the junior class that followed in behind them, it's just two great classes that happened to complement each other and, and I knew it a long time ago. I mean, you know, I could see it coming. She's brought notoriety to this town. Though. She's an absolutely amazing young lady. She's just as special of a young lady off the court as she is on the court. Um, I think that's one of Haley's main attributes is um, how humble she is. Um, you know, there's been games where people try to double team her, triple team her, and Haley's been so good about not forcing the issue you know if that's she knows that if that happens she's got teammates that are wide open and she's willing to get them the ball and I think that's what makes Haley so special oh we have really good team chemistry we're not just like friends when we play basketball we like to hang out just all the time like we're together off court and we'll call each other and like go out and I don't know I think that just helps us because we just know each other that much better and we just get along so well that there's like no problem. Oh, it's like a big adrenaline rush whenever you walk in like right before the game's about to start and you look up and the stands are crowded. All along the glass down here is crowded and you're just like, wow, these, there's this many people that care about watching us. and. That means something to all of us. We have so many more fans, like when we first started, I mean, we had a lot of fans, but then after we won, it's just like more and more people want to come and watch us and just, I guess, are curious to see how good we really are. Now, this part of West Texas, it is. I mean, most little girls grew up wanting to play for Coach Sharp and the Lady Raiders. You know, there's many years when this area won five state championships, and I think, um, and especially, you know, these little these girls here, they saw when Coach Sharp was there and the Lady Raiders just dominated. Um, you want to succeed. You, you want to do that, and, and, you know, we have people now come to our games that I couldn't even tell you who they are, and I've been here at Smire for 14 years, and um, it's just, it's, it's really nice. What makes Haley so special is her body control. It is just unbelievable how well she can control her body and um, the spaces she can fit through. She can split a defender when you think there's no way she can get through there. No, I still feel pressure whenever I'm playing sometimes. Like, it's hard because so many teams just want to beat you because you've done it twice and they're like, yeah, we want to beat them and say, yeah, we beat two time defending state champs. Yeah. So I feel like there is some pressure, but at the same time, I feel relaxed a little bit. Like, I, like I've talked with my wife, we both discussed it and it's just God's will. God wants her at LCU and, that's, and I can't think of a better place. I mean, you tell me how a, a town like, I mean a school that's NAI like LCU is blessed with a Haley Fowler, uh, uh, Haley Burton from Shallow Water, and Nicole Hampton from Canyon. You know, Nicole Hampton led Canyon to a 4A state championship undefeated. And she's at Lubbock Christian. That, that, that's got to be a God thing too. So, It was always like a big dream of mine to play at a D1 school. Like whenever I was like going through junior high and even really up to this year, I was like, yeah, I want to play at a Division I school. And then I guess I backed off that idea a little bit because I was just like, well, you know what? If I can find a place where I am really happy, then I really don't care what division school it is. If I'm happy playing, then that's where I want to be. And that's what I felt whenever I was, when I went on my visit to LCU. I kind of, I think I always kind of knew that I liked LCU just because I really love like the coaches. And then whenever I, I went on my final visit and that was my last one was at LCU and as soon as I got back, I was just like, I, that's where I want to go. I knew as soon as I was done, I, was, I just, I couldn't wait to tell my parents because I was like, I know what I want to do now. 
I don't want to worry about this anymore. And so I was just really relieved to actually have my decision. Like I've told everybody, you've got to be very, very lucky. We have, um, God has just blessed us tremendously. I mean, it, it, there's no, there's no other way to explain it. God has just blessed us unbelievably. And um, yes, I, I'm, I'm absolutely uh, overwhelmed with how, how lucky we've been or how blessed we've been. I, I hope the legacy of this class is not only that they've won two state championships, but that they've been classy young ladies. Because these, these ladies are unbelievable. I mean, everything they do, I mean, whenever these girls graduate, it's going to be a sad day in Smyrna, Texas. Uh, I'm counting down the number of days I have left with them because they're such a special group.